Welcome back to the road show this morning in the kitchen. We're going to do a little assembly line, and I have a feeling this is going to turn out. You know, remember when Lucy was making the chocolates? And Lucy. <laughs> and it was going Lucy. down the assembly line. You we look said, marvelous. This time we're doing it with braised short rib ravioli. Yes. And uh, and so tell us, how do we get started here? Okay, just in a mixing bowl here, you're going to add some diced braised short ribs. Okay, and I can just add it to some of the ones that some of yep. it that you've already. You can throw it all, all in of there. This? Yep. Okay. Now, how much how much uh, braised short ribs do we need in order to make uh, as many servings as you're going to make today? Um, I would say about two 10 ounce pieces. Okay. That'll break it down. And then is this um, goat cheese? Yep, you're going to add all the goat cheese. Nice. Probably about two <laughs> ounces there. Two ounces, which is just the amount that Melissa Rector was saying we could we have. have. So <laughs> perfect. <laughs> okay. And then a little truffle oil, right? A little right? truffle oil. Now, is truffle oil expensive? Um, it's a little on the pricey it's side. gotten down uh, okay. over the past few years. This one is actually a black truffle oil. Okay. So it's a little bit cheaper than white. I like this one a little bit better because it's got like a cleaner flavor to okay. it. Okay. Um, and how much do I put in of this? I've never Just even used this dash. before. Just a dash. Just a dash, like eight hundred dollars. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, that'll good. Do it. Wow. And now what do I do? Do I just mix it all together? Um, I would season it with some salt and pepper. All right, like a little pinch like this, yep. sort of. Perfect. Kosher salt? Yes. Okay, and a little pepper? Yep. Just like that? Yep, and then okay. mix away. All right. Me, you want me to use the egg? Yep. Just brush one side of this. Brush one side of this. Get it all over the whole thing. This smells good. <laughs> oh, man. Now, is this one of the um, one of the dishes that you serve at Temple? I've been to Temple once yep, before. It's, it's a great place. It's actually uh, one of our signature dishes. Oh, okay. Um, it's quite popular. Mm -hmm. um, re everyone really enjoys it. Tell us a little bit about the restaurant, history of the restaurant. Well, we've been open for about uh, two and a half years now. Uh -huh. um, we're inside the Renaissance Providence Hotel, right? which is the old Masonic Temple. Um, and you've got a heck of a view there, I'm told. Oh yeah, I haven't been there. I gotta go there. You don't mind view. It's on my to-do list. Uh, if you get a good table on the uh, street side, you can get a great view of the state house. Fantastic. It's all lit up at night. It's yep. really cool. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna pass this over to Vince. Okay. So that's all set. So what's Vince gonna do? You are gonna grab this scoop. One scooper. And just get one nice little tight scoop. Not too much in there. There you go. And right in the center of the dry one. And do that for all three. And what was the dough made of? Did, it's all, it's all, did you um, make this dough? It's no, all cut and we actually buy these, um, but it's made with semolina flour, egg. Okay. And do you have to, can you go to a, re uh, a grocery store for that? Do you go to a specialty Any store? Any specialty store, really. Okay. I don't believe you can get that in the grocery store. Gotcha. So okay. that's nice. good. I'll take that away. Okay, now what? And uh, just kind of sandwich them together. And egg side down, obviously, right? right duh. Right. Oh, yeah, okay. that looks good. Let me make one with you. Okay, go right ahead. So you can <laughs> that is code for, is I think you so may be doing this wrong. What you're going to do is just hold it in between your fingers and squeeze as much air out as possible. Oh, and it really, that really does hold it together, yep. that egg wash. That egg is definitely binding the pasta together, and once it hits the boiling water, the protein's going to just hold it right together. And so nice. similar to this. Yep. Not bad? Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. So once so you're done, you just plunk them right in. And it doesn't take long to cook ravioli in general, but especially fresh ravioli, right? Um, these probably take about four minutes, oh, okay. I would say. Not bad. Yeah, so they're pretty good. Beautiful. So Vince is going to plunk that in. And what are we going to put these over? Um, this, what we have here is uh, cream leeks. What it is is uh, sweated down leeks um, with a little bit of white wine and garlic, mm -hmm. and then just heavy Watch cream reduced. Watch yourself, guys. Come okay. in. <laughs> <laughs> A little heavy cream <laughs> reduced. Okay. Um, some butter, of course, and a little salt and pepper. Very nice. And uh, these are the uh, the said leeks. Right. Yeah. These are huge. For these, uh, you only want to use the bottom white part. Okay. Because it'll turn the sauce green. Oh. And you want to make sure when you use these to wash them a lot Thoroughly. because there's a lot of dirt and grit in there. I imagine a different flavor from here to here. Yeah, this tends to be a little bit on the bitter, bitter side. Bitter side? Okay. Craig, I'm curious to know what your most popular dish in the restaurant is. Do you have one? Um, everything's pretty popular. Mm -hmm. I would say probably our tuna niçoise. Tuna niçoise? Yep. It's uh, just sliced tuna over um, Sushi potato. grade tuna. Yes, yes, of course. 
over a potato puree, uh -huh. a little haricot vert, oh. and uh, just Gesundheit. a nissoir. <laughs> I, I dated his sister. <laughs> a nissoir <laughs> bin with uh, tomatoes, uh, Kalamata olives, herbs, oh, yeah. and olive oil. Fantastic. I have to say, a great place to go on, a, on an evening when you want to go with friends, have a restaurant, have a little uh, food, and then lounge in your lounge. Yeah. It's a really great location. And you have valley parking, yes, we which do. is always key right. when you're going downtown. Time Providence. to give it the taste test. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh, that is so good. They're good? That is so good. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Fantastic. You're going to have to toss it to oh, yeah. Michelle because... <laughs>